G'day guys, it's Chris Evering here and today we're going to be cooking up a simple salad that we can all do at home. Now it might daunt some people, it might be a little bit hard to make this salad, it might be intimidating, but if you follow these six simple steps, I'm telling you now, it's going to be very easy for you to make a salad for your next social gathering or party or just to have for dinner. Uh, we're going to go through that in a minute. Just remember if you like this video, like, comment and share, we'd love to hear from you. Or just pop over to my website, chriseveringham.com. I've got some articles on health and fitness, so nutrition, exercise and some mindset stuff. Uh, check that out and let me know how you think about it. Uh, today we're going to cover some basic things. We're going to be covering what ingredients you'll need, how to prepare them and in what order to use as well as some health features of the food items we're going to be using. So, a lot of information to take on today. Sit back, relax, and uh, let's get into it. Okay, so salads are good for anyone, any age, any time. It doesn't really matter, they're really healthy for you. And uh, depending on your overall diet will depend on how often you should actually eat them. So, for example, in Australia, the general rule of thumb for vegetables is to eat five serves of vegetables per day. So if you're going to be eating salads, uh, one cup is one serving size of salad. So if you can have five cups of salad, you're hitting your daily target. But you know we don't want to just be eating salads all the time. So if you look to balance salads out with say ground vegetables, um, stir fries, casseroles, grilled vegetables, it's going to help to make your, your overall diet full of variety as well as hitting all those nutrients from other sources of vegetables. Okay, so this is for general healthy eating. So if you're, say, pregnant or lactating, if you're older or younger, if you're an athlete, if you're post-surgery, if you have medical conditions like diabetes or cancer or heart disease, different dietary advice is going to be relevant for you. So go and talk to your doctor or even better, talk to another dietitian and uh, make sure that you discuss this information with them to see if this information is relevant for you and then they, that way they can tailor it to you and your lifestyle and your goals of course as well. So with that being said, let's get into it. Okay, so what you're going to need today is you're going to need some lettuce, at least two different types. So today I've got some Roman lettuce uh, here which is the green one and then I've got some butter leaf lettuce. So, two heads of Roman lettuce and then maybe one head of butter leaf lettuce. So you're going to need some tomatoes and depending on the size of the tomato, it's going to depend on how many you need, but I've got some medium sized ones, so I'm going to go about five or maybe seven. And uh, while we're at it, some capsicum or some bell peppers, depending on what country you're from, and a lemon, you'll need one of those. Uh, if you don't like tomatoes, you can use some pomelo, also very nice in their colours see that, but very nice pink colour. Um, we've got some carrots here, you need one to two carrots and some cucumber. I've got half here, but if you like cucumbers, you might want to use one of them. We use some peppermint, nice and fresh, get it from the garden or from your store, get a nice and fresh one. It's going to be really nice for the environment as well. I've just got a handful of those. On our side of condiments, we've got some pepper and some chili flakes if you like it hot. And you can either go with some Himalayan rock salt or some sea salt. Uh, it's really up to you, but there's some really healthy salt options. These are the things you're going to need to prepare today, and they're going to be good for probably about two serves of vegetables for about four people. So a lot of salad here. Obviously, adjust your salad or your materials to how much you want to make. Make sure that you wash them and uh, prepare them properly before you start, so you don't get any any nasties and you can don't get a sore stomach, so that way you can enjoy your salad. So to start off with our Romano lettuce, we're just going to take one head to start off with, chop the end off, and then pull that to the side, just the there, and then uh, just break off a few pieces, get rid of the, the ones that are a little bit wilted, so put those on the side, be pretty good. So just chop off some of the lettuce, just pop that there, Butter leaf lettuce. So we're going to take that. We're going to throw out some of the wilted ones because we don't want those in the salad, right? So we're going to just take those out, put them in that bowl there. Just chop the end off, and then just have again have a bit of a look inside and make sure that there's no bugs in there. If you want, we can add, we can chop it up just a little bit more, just to give it a different 
texture in your salad. So we're going to pop that in there. Next, we're going to add in our contrasting colors. So we're going to get some tomatoes, really good source of lycopene. Lycopene is found in um, adrenal glands and male is found in the testes. It's also found in the eyes, that's right, in the eyes as well. So it must play a role in those functions, so hormone function and vision as well. Lycopene is also a very good antioxidant, so good for fighting free radicals inside the body. So we're just chopping that in half, put that to the side. We're going to chop a few of these up, chop the end off, and then you can slice it this way, so you can have it in half. Just pop those in there. And what I'll do is I'll probably just chop up this carrot. So just chop the end off. I haven't cut the skin off, you don't really need to peel it, but if you want to peel it, that's fine. Uh, chop the end off there. And what I'll do is I'm just going to cut it into, into squares so it's easier to cut. Not squares, but semi-cylinders. Carrot's a really good source of fiber. Again, keep that bound nice and healthy. And it's also a good source of vitamin A. So really good for uh, helping with eyesight and the eye cells as well. So just chopping these up. I've gone into really thin sliced pieces of carrot. You can chop it the way you want to, but it looks good in the salad as well. You can see it's starting to come together looking really nice. Just give it a bit of a mix as we're going along. And the next thing we'll add in, I'm going to add in half a cucumber. I'm going to cut them into coins. Cucumber, a really good source of fiber again, really good source of vitamin C, and also very good for potassium. So potassium is really good for nerve cells, or nerve cell signal conduction. It's just a fancy word for uh, proper thinking and um, contraction of muscles and all that sort of stuff. So really good for the nerve. We're going to add in some, well I call it capsicum, because that's where I'm from, Australia, we call it capsicum, but if you want to call it bell peppers, it's the same thing. You can use red ones if you want, you can use yellow, you can use a green one, or a green one. Of course the seeds are in the middle, I'm just going to chop it down the sides, split it open, and then that way it's not too messy when you're cutting it, and just rip it open. Okay, we can just pop that straight in there. Okay, I'm going to cut these lengthwise so it looks nice in the salad itself. Okay. So we pop them in there. You're probably going to get the pattern in, but capsicum, really good for fiber, good for the bowels, okay? And also a good source of vitamin C. So really nice antioxidant, really good for the body overall. Okay, we're going to add some peppermint in here. So you only need to take a few leaves, just pop them onto your chopping board. Just take a few off, okay? Take the stems off. Okay, so peppermint is really good because it has some bioflavonoids inside it. Really healthy. Okay, so just chop up the peppermint. That's going to release the aromas out of the peppermint. And it's going to smell good and taste good as well. So just put those into the salad. If you want, guys, you can also put in a protein option. So you can put in some beans, so red kidney beans. You can put in some grilled chicken. You can put in some eggs, so like boiled eggs if you'd like. Um, chickpeas, lentils. Just to add in another zing to the flavor is the lemon or our acid component. So just chop up a lemon, cut it into quarters. Okay, you don't need to put a lot in there now. I'm just going to put it on the side there so when I serve it, it's going to taste really nice and fresh and it's not going to wilt the, the leaves and the lettuce itself. So let's just pop those on the side. Lemon's really good for vitamin C in the form of ascorbic acid, so that again is another really good antioxidant. So salad really packed with vitamins, really packed with minerals, packed with fat fiber, and it's low energy dense as well, but high nutrient density, so really good for your health. We're just gonna plate this salad now. I'm not the best at doing it, but let's have a look at it and see what happens. So again, just take those, those green, this green lettuce, put it out there. Use your hands, why not? Get some lettuce on the on the table there. And we 
want to get some contrasting colors. So we have carrots, our tomatoes, okay, and then those other textures of cucumbers, just pop those on there. Okay, so we'll look for the others. So we want to get some of that brown butter leaf as well. Pop it in. A few more caps, okay. There you go. I don't want to use that one. Let's use that. So get that lemon that you were using before, that we cut up before, just spray that over the top there. It's probably going to go everywhere, but just, just put it on there. We'll take a little bit more of that salt that's going to release some of the flavors out of the salad itself. We have the chili flakes, a little bit better. We're just going to sprinkle on a couple of chili flakes just like that. So that's pretty much how you make a salad. What do you think, guys? I'm going to try it. And um, I'm going to give you a bit, of a, a bit of a rundown of what it tastes like here. No, it's right. Right amount of salt, a little bit of chili on it, so it tastes nice. And you know what? Crunchy and full of texture as well. You know, I don't even know what I'm using for. We'll just go from there. Let me know how it goes, guys. I hope you enjoyed this video. Remember to like, comment, and share. We'd love to hear from you. And until next time, let's make the world better. For some easy and quick recipe advice here in the kitchen or some nutrition tips, check out my other videos here on YouTube because I'm sharing the best strategies to maximize your metabolism.